frequently, uh, but apparently without any consequence at all, frequently the website PolitiFact is wrong. Completely wrong. Marco Rubio said a majority of Americans are conservatives. PolitiFact looked into that, found that that is not true, and then they ruled his statement half true. President Obama made two claims about jobs numbers in a big speech. Claims that were true. PolitiFact admitted the claims were true. They rated his statement half true. <laughs> PolitiFact fact-checked a statement by Lawrence O'Donnell that the GI Bill had once been denounced as a form of welfare. That happened in real life. That is a true statement. PolitiFact rated it mostly false. PolitiFact is terrible at what they do. PolitiFact is terrible. Fact-checking is an important, important job, and there are people who do it well. PolitiFact does it terribly over and over and over again. Here was PolitiFact being terrible in May of this year. This was something they completely bollocksed up uh, when they tried and failed, as usual, uh, to fact-check the CBS show Face the Nation. We still don't have equal rights. Uh, I have been getting on Twitter, oh, why does this matter? I don't care, which is kind of code for I really don't want to know. Uh, but it does matter because in 29 states in this country, you can still get fired for not just being gay, but if your employer thinks that you're gay, you could still get fired. Tennis legend Martina Navratilova uh, saying on the CBS show Face the Nation that in 29 states in this country, you can get fired for being gay. Or even if your boss just thinks you're gay. PolitiFact decided to check that out. It's not a hard thing to do. And in fact, Politico found when they looked into it without too much Googling, it's pretty easy to find that indeed only 21 states prohibit employment discrimination based on sexual orientation. So let's see. There are 50 states. If only 21 of the 50 states have discrimination laws that protect gay people, that means, right, 29 states do not have that protection. So in those states, just like Martina Navratilova said, you can get fired for being gay, or even if your boss just thinks you are. So they checked what she said. They found it to be true. So naturally, PolitiFact, finding that her statement was true, rated it half true. <laughs> PolitiFact is terrible, terrible, terrible at what they do. And also in 29 states, you really can be fired from your job if you're gay or if your boss thinks that you're gay, just like she said. The next time you want to cite PolitiFact as a source on something being truthful or not, don't. Just fact check whatever it is yourself. Even if you are drunk at the time you are doing it, you will do a better job than PolitiFact does. Stop talking about them and maybe they will wither away. Today in the United States Senate, uh, there was a bit of drama involving plane rides and timed votes. That was a 15-minute vote scheduled on ENDA, which is the non-discrimination bill that would make it illegal to fire somebody for being gay uh, in all 50 states. Two of the senators who were known to be in favor of the bill, one a Democrat and one a Republican, were stuck on airplanes and not back to Washington in time to cast their votes. When it became clear that they might not be able to defeat the Republican filibuster against this bill without their votes, supporters of the bill started lobbying other Republicans to try to get over the 60-vote threshold, extending well into the allotted voting time with every Democrat on board but not enough Republicans there to get it done. That on the floor and in the cloakroom lobbying today, finally at the last minute, brought on board these three Republican senators, Kelly Ayotte of New Hampshire, Pat Toomey of Pennsylvania, and Rob Portman of Ohio. And with their votes, the bill cleared the Republican filibuster, and it is now on a path to pass the Senate once and for all on Wednesday or Thursday of this week. It was very dramatic. Passing the Senate, though, isn't enough to make it law. And the Republican leadership in the House today said they will not even allow this discrimination bill to be brought up for a vote in the House. The Speaker says he's against it, says the Republicans will not even let the House consider it. What's weird, though, is the stated reason why they're against it. John Boehner and the Republican leadership in the House say they will not allow a vote on this bill because, they say, it's already illegal to fire someone for being gay. Quote, they believe existing law provides these protections. Existing law does not provide these protections. Remember? In 29 states in this country, you can still get fired for not just being gay, but if your employer thinks that you're gay, you could still get fired. That's true. That is a true statement. Whatever PolitiFact takes issue with, you can be pretty sure that it is true. And that is true. But this is a weird thing about this law in particular. Republicans are not necessarily arguing about this law on its merits. They're arguing that the law already exists and therefore there's no need for this change. 
Speaker John Boehner's office telling Sam Stein at Huffington Post today, quote, this is covered by existing law. That is not true at all. In 29 states, there really is no protection in law against you being fired for your sexual orientation. It's even more states for your sexual identity. But the Republican explanation for why they will not follow the Senate to fix that problem is to deny the factual truth of what existing law is. This is not usually the way we fight over policy in this country. This is a really, really weird one. Or as PolitiFact would say, this is totally normal. Joining us now for the interview is Senator Jeff Merkley of Oregon. He introduced the end of legislation in the current Congress. He led the effort to pass it in the Senate. Uh, Senator Merkley, thanks very much for being with us. It's nice to have you here. Well, you're welcome, Rachel. It's great to be with you. So sev 17 years ago was the last time this non-discrimination issue was voted on in the Senate. It lost by one vote 17 years ago. Why, why are you on a path to pass it in the Senate right now, do you think? Well, the difference now is that that vote 17 years ago, we only needed a simple majority or 50 plus the vice president. We lost 49 to 50 because one senator was, was absent. And uh, now we have to get 60 votes, both to close debate to get on the bill. And I should clarify, tonight we, we just broke the filibuster to get onto the bill. We'll have to break another filibuster to get to a final, final vote. Oh, so wow. we're, we have amendments in between. We're not, we're not there yet. But I do hope... Uh, that uh, what happens this week in the Senate will provide the, the momentum that will finally, as a nation, say you should be able to get hired and not get fired without your, your sexual identity being, being the issue. When you have done the personal lobbying that you have done uh, of your colleagues on the Republican side of the aisle, and when you have seen Republicans who support this legislation lobby their colleagues uh, about, about casting the vote in the same way that you did today, what's the, what are the arguments that are persuading them? Why are people like Pat Toomey and, and Kelly Ayotte and, and, and Rob Portman and Mark Kirk and these other Republicans able to come along when the rest of their colleagues on the Republican side aren't? You know, one of their real concerns was religious exemption, and we anchored it in Title VII of the Civil Rights Act, and that's answered a, a lot of the concerns that they had about uh, uh, balancing religious organizations uh, and this issue of, uh, of employment discrimination. But by, by taking the standard of the Civil Rights Act, that helped a lot. The other thing they were really worried about were, were lawsuits. And by looking at those 21 states that you referred to and their record, we find that lawsuits do not materialize in surprising numbers or cause a real problem for business, and thus businesses are very much uh, on board with non-discrimination. So those have been two key factors in, in bringing this together. What do you make uh, of the argument from the House leadership that they are not going to allow a vote on this on their side of, the cap of Capitol Hill because they believe it's, it's legally unnecessary. They believe it already is illegal to fire someone uh, for sexual orientation or sexual identity. I have to admit that I was I struck by the strangeness of this as a factual assertion. It's one of the most astounding things I've ever heard, to have it be perfectly legal to fire somebody in 29 states uh, of this nation because of their sexual orientation, uh, and then to have somebody say, what well, those 29 states don't really have those laws, but, but, but they do. Yeah. And it's why we've been having this conversation for almost, it's almost 40 years since Bella Abzug first introduced this in the, in the House of Representatives, 39 years uh, this year. And uh, millions of Americans have been denied the, the opportunity to have full pursuit of happiness or equality under the vision of the Constitution because of these laws. And it's, it's time to uh, put an end to this kind of discrimination because it affects not only the individuals and their ability to fulfill their dreams, but it affects the promise of all of America when the potential of individuals is, is compromised. Senator Jeff Merkley uh, of Oregon, you have been uh, a very clear voice on the subject. I know you have fought hard on this. Congratulations on today's procedural vote, and uh, keep in touch with us this week as this moves forward. Very Thanks, good. Senator. Sure will. Thank you. Rachel. Thanks very much, Senator Merkley. Uh, Rand Paul's Wikipedia plagiarism scandal is metastasizing into weird shapes unforeseen just a few days ago. Uh, we will have the latest with no shooting. Straight ahead.